praise be to jesus good morning friends today according to the sura malabar liturgical calendar is the seventh and the last sunday of the apostles during this season of the apostles we have been meditating upon how jesus and the disciples of jesus proclaimed the good news and we were also trying to look at our own selves how we could by our lives proclaim the good news of jesus on the seventh and final week we are reminded of the need to live a holy life the lord is asking in today's gospel to enter through the narrow gate today the readings are deuteronomy chapter 4 verses 10 to 14 Isaiah chapter 5 verses 8 to 25 First Corinthians chapter 16 verses 1 to 14 Luke chapter 13 verses 22 to 30 The gospel reading is regarding entering through the narrow gate on the seventh sunday of apostles the lord is asking us to enter through the narrow gate In the first reading the people of Israel are reminded of how the 10 commandments were given to them through Moses in a powerful revelation to lead a holy life we have to faithfully obey the commandments of God In the second reading prophet Isaiah denounces the social injustice among the people of Israel greed and possessiveness how blinded them they do not see the needs of the poor isaiah chapter 5 verse 8 ah you who join house to house who add field to field until there is room for no one but you god's punishment is there the houses are uninhabited and the fields were yielding very little crops isaiah continues ah you who call evil good and good evil who acquit the guilty for a bribe and deprive the innocent of their rights the anger of the lord was kindled against his people isaiah chapter 5 verses 20 23 25 the lord is demanding social justice equity and truthfulness In the third reading verses 13 and 14 of 1st Corinthians chapter 16 summarize the principles of Christian living keep alert stand firm in your faith let all that you do be done in love thus a life of holiness demands number 1 keeping the commandments of god number 2 ensuring social justice truth and equity number 3 doing everything in love and number 4 entering through the narrow door the gospel reading luke chapter 13 verses 22 to 30 presents jesus giving a reply to the question by someone lord will only a few be saved jesus answered enter through the narrow gate many will try but will not succeed people seek success riches pleasure fame etc often at the cost of the purpose of their very lives success at any cost or by any means is a wrong principle upheld by many right end and right means are essential in the pursuit of life's objectives gambling may make one rich malpractices and copying may fetch high ranks for an examinee the wide door will lead one ultimately to perdition when the master has closed the door there is no use in knocking at the door and calling out to the master the instances of one's familiarity with the master he would say i do not know you what is required is to reach the door in time so that one may be let in Lord Jesus bless us to be your messengers help us to lead a holy life by keeping your commandments 
practicing justice truth and charity doing everything in love and seeking to enter to the narrow door to your presence amen